The weight of the world is love. Under the burden of solitude, under the burden of dissatisfaction, the weight, the weight we carry, is love. Who can deny? In dreams, it touches the body. In thought, constructs a miracle. In imagination, anguishes, till born in human looks out of the heart, burning with purity, for the burden of life is love. Wash over me, let me fall from my surroundings. Take over me, I'm a river rushing me. Her eyes opening up like time capsules when she began to reminisce of what it felt like before Luke. She explained to me in a very simple way as if her advice was factual. There was falsified love that at times could feel like love, but was conditional and frequently tumultuous. This love is best described as red love, she told me. As I listened, I grew even more weary knowing many of my relationships had followed this algorithm. But then came the blue love. In stark comparison, this kind of love was gifted to those, not only who wanted to love another, but decided they were going to truly love themselves. Blue love favors those who take time to work on themselves, recognize faults, and show compassion for themselves. This love multiplies where there is empathy, compromise, and the ability to recognize faults paired with change behavior. So today we celebrate the steady, foundational, unconditional blue love that I now know exists. Today I take you as my wife. I love you now as I've always loved you, and as I always will love you. Today I take you as my husband. I love you now as I have always loved you, and as I always will love you. I'm Luke's dad, and of course it was a great honor when he asked me to be his best man. For two weeks I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> Luke's one of those kids that pretty much raised himself, or he could have anyway. I'm jealous of the moon that keeps on staring. So lock the door and turn out the night. I want you all to myself, we don't need anyone else. Let our now I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, some dad going on about his kid, blah, blah, blah. I, I just want to know what a great guy I think Luke is because we think Kelsey's just as good. And I told Luke, if he ever breaks up, we're keeping Kelsey. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous of the sun. I met Kelsey in college, and so when she told me about this guy named Lou, uh, we met, and he was busting the dance moves out of the bar. And I was like, he is the one for Kelsey. Kelsey and I have been 
best friend since high school. I remember her calling me one time to tell me about a new boy she was crushing on and instantly my best friend's senses went off and I was like, nope. I've never seen someone handle Kelsey the way that you do, Luke. And when I say handle, I don't mean that in a bad way. But <laughs> let's be honest, Kelsey's a little bit of a diva. Um, and I love that you embrace her for that and for all that she is. Um, because Luke, you got pretty lucky too. <laughs>